Hi, I'm Adan. And I'm Melissa. And this is Elias. Can, Can you say, say hi? Hello. A daddy. <laughs> and we're the Francos. Can you say hi? Hi. And today we're going to be talking to you about our favorite pico de gallo recipe. We really love this recipe because it is super fast, it's easy, and it's so fresh. This pico recipe uses plum tomatoes. They're the real base of the recipe. The reason we like plum tomatoes this recipe is that it's got a nice texture, uh, it's got a great flavor and color, and you can usually find them year-round at any grocery store. When we cut the tomato usually, we like to scoop out any um, excess liquid and seeds, and that'll help get a really nice uh, consistency with uh, the pico later. Um, a good way to tell the difference between a, a ripe tomato and a underripe uh, plum tomato is uh, the color. Obviously, you want nice ripe uh, red color, a um, little yellow, and um, not too hard. You'll feel a little firm, but a little bit of give, and that's how you know you get a good tomato. When chopping your ingredients, you want to cut them very uniformly, especially the tomatoes and onions, so you get a little bit of each ingredient with every bite. Let's talk about spice, the jalapeno. It adds some heat without completely overwhelming the rest of the flavors. Yeah, you can also uh, tone down the heat by taking all the seeds out. You can cut the vein from the center of the uh, jalapeno. You can also give it a quick rinse in some cold water, and that'll help uh, tone the heat down, but keep the great flavor of it. And you also like to use a different pepper sometimes. I do, I like the serrano pepper. It's got great flavor, I prefer it. Um, a little bit more of a kick, but treat it the same way as a jalapeno and you'll have a great pico. Cilantro. Um, some people love it or they hate it. Uh, you can always uh, use a little more if you like it uh, or use a little less if you're not a fan. Now people ask this question all the time. Can you substitute parsley instead of cilantro? The short of the answer is no. Um, it'll make the pico bitter and really change the overall flavor. This recipe actually uses uh, leaves and stems, and uh, the reason for that is that the stems got some really good flavor and um, can add a little bit of uh, peppery flavor to it too. And when you're done making the recipe, you might be tempted to want to eat it right away, but actually you want to let it sit for a while. That's going to give the flavors a good chance to uh, come together and for that lime to tone down the onion and the garlic and get some nice sweetness to it. And actually, since you're the cook in the family, by letting it sit, it'll give you time to prepare the rest of dinner. This pico is so versatile. I like to top tacos and quesadillas. I like it with eggs or even grilled fish in the summertime. Um, I have an aunt that actually puts a chopped avocado in it and it gives a nice creamy flavor. So you can really make this recipe your own. What do we eat pico with? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Say thank you. Thank you.